how often do you look at your money? Oh, I, I usually look at it every week. Uh -huh. um, I, I just keep an eye on so it. So you're not looking at it eight or nine times a day? No. Um, you know, I know how much is there, ballpark figure. You know, I know how much is there. And, and, and it's obviously, yeah, I want, it, I want it to grow. I want it to, you know, I want it to last a long time. Um, so, but you, you can't focus on it every single day. And mm -hmm. there were, yeah, I mean, there were periods in my life where I would look at it every day. But, you know, it was more of a at how good you're doing kind of a thing it was more of a pat myself on the back thing and um you know just to, to be honest you know the reason that you and i are now now working together is because it it became work to to work with my money um i at, you know at some point in time and you know i mean we were you know we had we had a a, a big holding in in you know we had all our eggs in one basket we needed to diversify and I didn't, I didn't have the time or the energy or the, you know, the actual knowledge what to do. I've had, you know, you're my probably fourth, you're my fourth advisor. The first one, you know, was when I went to Ameriprise, it was handed off to one guy. I'm sure he got out of the business or something because they just handed me off to someone else. Then I had, you know, I, my, my third financial advisor, which was also with Ameriprise, really enlightened me to how important um, a financial advisor is simply due to the fact that, you know, anytime, you know, you and I talk with, you know, any of the, of the people that we know in common, it's all like, look, Scott doesn't call me up and give me, you know, a, a hot tip, like, you know, <laughs> like we're going to the racetrack. I said, you know, it's a very holistic approach to what, what, what your money can do, what, how you can do what, xyz with your money um and my last advisor she really came through with me in the clutch on something that i really didn't know about unfortunately she passed away and she you know she was actually quite young when she did but um at that was again ameriprise they handed me off to somebody and he was doing okay but you know when i when i had a, a situation on how to diversify, I got some really, I thought, uns not it wasn't sound advice. And unfortunately, I think this person just wasn't ready for the question. And I remember that, you know, when I called you, you didn't have an answer either. But you said, I will call you back. And you did call me back later that day. And I said, look, based upon what we've just had in this conversation, just over the over this, you know, 20 minute phone call, what we talked about and what I, what you could gather from what I was talking about, you said, that's not the move for you. What he's advised you is not the move for you. And I said, okay, then we need to sit down and really talk. Mm -hmm. And that's how, you know, that's how you and I got together.